Hey guys, what's going on? Jab here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of shorter term technical analysis on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets, and more specifically, we're going to be discussing what has happened here over the last 24 hours or so on Bitcoin, because as you can see, Bitcoin has actually been moving rather bullish ever since about halfway through the 26th of March. Some normal people might call that noon of March. Bitcoin has been moving to the upside, and we did see the Bitcoin moved into this kind of flag here over the last couple of days, from which Bitcoin last night did inevitably break bullish. Bitcoin has moved up and garnered resistance at $4,100, which is actually a very major level of resistance that we've been looking at here for quite some time on the Bitcoin chart. This level of resistance is actually the bottom of a zone of resistance in between $4,100 and $4,500. If Bitcoin were able to break through and move all the way through that zone of resistance, it would be extremely bullish for Bitcoin. I'm talking the start of a bull market kind of bullish for Bitcoin. So in this video, I'm not saying necessarily that a bull market is starting or anything, but we are going to be discussing this recent move on Bitcoin it moving up to $4,100 and how that plays into the predictions I've been making of bearishness over the last couple of weeks on Bitcoin and whether or not we need to start adjusting those predictions and thinking that now maybe Bitcoin is actually looking more bullish than bearish. Perhaps we are coming into the end of the accumulation phase much earlier than we thought. We're going to be discussing all of that and more in today's video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider dropping a like hitting that subscribe button and smashing that notification bell, guys. We're getting close to 20,000 subscribers. That is a lot of you guys. I don't know where you're all coming from, but I do appreciate it. So let's see if we can get to that by the end of April. I'd love to see that happen. Anyway, now without much further ado, like I said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Bitcoin is currently trading around $4,080 and some change. Bitcoin on the hourly chart, as I said, did break bullish about 3 a.m. this morning, it started moving to the upside, broke a couple levels of resistance, broke the resistance line on that uh, flag right there. I didn't mention that a whole lot in yesterday's video, but Bitcoin wasn't a flag here, and there was a good chance that Bitcoin was going to break bullish and move to the upside. I think I did talk about the potential of Bitcoin moving to the upside, but we also did break a downtrend of resistance that Bitcoin has been under. That is, it's kind of an odd downtrend of resistance because you can draw it in a couple of different ways, but that would be the longer term downtrend right here, this guy. You can actually draw it a couple different ways, so we can now, I suppose, draw it like this and it actually lines up quite well we just have to miss a couple of the tops over here but we do have three tops setting that at the moment and what that shows is that Bitcoin has in fact come up here and tested resistance at $4,100 and now on this redrawn downtrend of resistance Bitcoin is testing both of those and like I said earlier on in the video, we've been discussing the potential for bearishness on Bitcoin over the last couple of weeks, really, about Bitcoin, how, uh, how Bitcoin's been moving to the upside here. And I apologize, guys, my throat is still a little bit messed up, so I may have to mute myself and cough here in a second. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Oh, sorry about that. I'm still getting over this cold. Anyway, like I said, over the last couple of weeks, we've been discussing Bitcoin moving to the upside and how its move to the upside may actually be short-lived and the Bitcoin may fall over and uh, start falling to the downside in accordance with some of the longer-term technicals that we've been discussing, such as the weekly stochastic RSI cross that I've been dreading and talking about over the last three weeks or so. That has happened, and Bitcoin is nevertheless still moving to the upside. So that still does kind of leave us the question, is Bitcoin going to be moving to the upside now? What does this recent bullishness for Bitcoin mean? Is this short-lived? Is Bitcoin going to move to the downside? Or is Bitcoin actually gearing up for a new bullish rally, which would be a very interesting trend considering Bitcoin's already been moving bullish for quite some time here. Could that be the beginning of a bull market? Well, there's a lot to unpack here. Bitcoin over the last couple of days, yes, it has been moving to the upside. And yes, it is looking more bullish than it did a couple days ago. Bitcoin had been falling over here and Bitcoin has been in this ascending uh, trading channel here. And while Bitcoin has been moving to the upside, you have to remember that that's what normally happens in an ascending trading channel, guys. You bounce around in between the level of, in between the zone of support and resistance. That's just the way these things work. So it's not unsurprising that we see a, a bullish move. We can still be expecting a bearish breakout here. Now, though, Bitcoin has moved to the upside here and has moved up to the upside in a rather bullish way. Bitcoin hasn't moved quite that quickly in a little while. Bitcoin has moved about 5.5% over the last couple of days, and that is a good sign for Bitcoin. A lot of the technicals are looking a little bit better, for example. If we go out to the daily chart, the daily MACD, for example, has actually crossed bullish here, which is a very good sign. I'm very happy to see that. And I believe if we bring up our Heiken Ashi, Heiken Ashi should be green as well. I haven't looked at Heiken Ashi a whole lot on, on, uh, on camera in quite some time, but Heiken Ashi is very... Uh, it's a very good and very useful uh, candlestick type. Of course, you can come up here and switch to Heiken Ashi. I'm not going to get into how it's calculated or anything. We have an entire video on Heiken Ashi and the strategies you can use with it in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. So I'm not going to get into all of that. The course link is in the description down below. Of course, you guys know all about that. 
But Heikinashi is a great method of determining whether or not Bitcoin is in a bullish state or a bearish state. And right now, Bitcoin is very much in a bullish state, at least a short-term one. Keep that in mind. There's a difference between a long-term bullish state and a short-term bearish state. You can be bullish on the short-term, bearish on the long-term, and vice versa, and even on the medium-term and whatnot. Now, with all that said, where do we think Bitcoin is going here? What is Bitcoin actually bullish now? Is Bitcoin going to start breaking this zone of resistance, start moving through $4,100, start trudging its way up towards maybe $5,000 or something like that? I think it's a little too early to go ahead and call something like that happening. It's a little too early to say that Bitcoin is looking extremely bullish and Bitcoin is going to start rallying in a very strong way and moving up past $4,100 and on to $4,500. Now, don't get me wrong. There is a case for the bulls to be made here, and that case has been proving itself over the last couple of days. Bitcoin has been moving to the upside, and there is, of course, always an argument for the bulls. That uh, that bullish cross on the MACD on the daily chart, that's very important. The weekly, candle sta the, the weekly stochastic RSI cross can be held off for a couple of weeks. We can see a crash coming a couple weeks from now and that would still um, actually uh, main the weekly stochastic RSI cross would still maintain its its relevance even if that happened a little while from now but that daily MACD cross is bullish for Bitcoin. So guys, I'm a lot more bullish now on Bitcoin than I was a couple days ago. That being said, there everything I've said about the bearishness for Bitcoin over the last few days, if you guys haven't watched some of those videos because I go into a lot more detail about why I'm more bearish than I am bullish. But with that said, those technicals are still there. There, are, there is still a good reason to believe that Bitcoin may fall over here. We have decreasing volume on an incre on a uh, on an uptrend, which is not something you want to see. We've seen Bitcoin moving to the upside for the last several weeks, and that's normally something that is going to see some kind of uh, um, a retracement follow it. Since Bitcoin's been moving to the upside for so long, we're not in a bull market yet. We're in an accumulation phase still. So seeing that kind of thing happen normally means that you're going to have some kind of retracement. It normally just means that Bitcoin is going to fall over. Oh, I do apologize for that, guys. I really wish I could. I really wish I could stop coughing, but it's not quite that easy. Anyway, Bitcoin has um, Bitcoin's at a decision point right now, and that's one of the main things I want to talk about today was where Bitcoin is going to go and what decision Bitcoin is going to make here, because Bitcoin finds itself immediately under some major levels of resistance. Four thousand one hundred dollars is not a level of resistance to scoff at. It's an important zone, and it's an important level, which is introducing Bitcoin to an important zone. And if Bitcoin does break that, I want to be the first to make clear that if Bitcoin does break $4,100, I am going to be on Team Bull. If Bitcoin breaks $4,100 and starts moving to the upside here, depending on what the technicals look like, but at the moment anyway, I'd say that I'd probably be Team Bull. If Bitcoin breaks out and starts moving to the upside here against all odds and against many of the technicals that we've been looking at, if Bitcoin does that, then you have to be able to drop your predictions and your and your and uh, what you think about the market. You have to be able to run away from whatever you thought about your market uh, about the market your preconceived notions you have to be able to drop them on a moment's notice in the light of new evidence and if bitcoin does start moving to the upside and many of these technicals start turning bullish instead of bearish bitcoin's macd on the daily chart continues being bullish maybe the macd on the four hourly and the hourly is bullish as well if that happens, you have to be able to go where the technicals are telling you to go. If the technicals are all telling you bullish, then you need to be bullish. If the technicals are all telling you bearish, then you need to be bearish, unless you're looking to lose money in the market. But I promise you, there's much more fun ways to lose money than in trading Bitcoin. If you, I mean, just go to Vegas. But the same thing is true for bearishness. And right now, a lot of the technicals are still pointing bearish for Bitcoin. And a lot of them, I still don't think, are looking very healthy for Bitcoin. My apologies. I really do. So I really am sorry. Anyway, Bitcoin, like I said, there is a good chance it breaks bullish here, but I also am still very concerned about it breaking bullish. I'm uh, very concerned about breaking bearish. Now, what I'm worried about here over the next couple of days is that Bitcoin has gone bullish, but Bitcoin is hitting resistance levels. And this is why I mentioned earlier that we're kind of at a decision point right here. If Bitcoin moves to the upside here, great. Everything I just said about bullishness comes to fruition. If Bitcoin doesn't, and this is what I think is slightly more likely, I think Bitcoin's more likely to come down here and test this uptrend of support once again. And that has to do with a lot of the technicals that we've discussed. We have a lot of technicals that aren't looking very great. We have the stochastic RSI and the RSI on the hourly on the four hourly chart in overbought territories. I believe the same thing is true for the hourly chart, although it oscillates a lot more, obviously. And yes, they and yes indeed that is true. A lot of the technicals are pointing to, bear, to Bitcoin being overbought. A lot of the market structures pointing to Bitcoin being overbought. Our, our strength of the bulls and the bears analysis is pointing to the bulls being over uh, exerted, being uh, exhausted. And a lot of things are pointing to the idea that Bitcoin is not going to be able to break resistance here. Now, like I said, there's always a chance that Bitcoin does do something that you don't expect it to, but I don't. I certainly don't expect for Bitcoin to do that. It would make much more sense for Bitcoin to fall over and come down and test this uptrend of support at the moment. And whether or not Bitcoin breaks that, guys, we'll talk about that in a future video, of course, because Bitcoin isn't down there yet. 
I really have to get videos out for you guys, and I really hate coughing. I'm sorry. Anyway, I, I will be over this in a couple of days. I do apologize. Anyway, guys, I think what I'm trying to say here is that Bitcoin, even though Bitcoin is moving to the upside, even though Bitcoin is testing resistance levels, and even though Bitcoin has been rather bullish here over the last couple of days, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin is about to go and break bullish and start moving to the upside in a, in a great way. And it certainly doesn't mean that a bull market is about to start. If we see confirmation of that, then that's how we'll know. But we have not seen that yet. And the bearish technicals and, and uh, market structure that we've been discussing with Bitcoin is still all there. And we do have to be careful of it. Watch out for because it is still very much relevant. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up before I destroy my voice. I think you guys get the point I'm trying to make here. I want to make sure that you guys understand that even though Bitcoin's been moving to the upside, it's not quite time to start getting too bullish on Bitcoin. We're close. If Bitcoin keeps going up, if Bitcoin keeps rallying, there we go. Then we'll be bullish on Bitcoin. But for right now, those technicals are still there and we need to keep an eye on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up now and go soothe my voice. I do apologize for the shorter video and the pauses, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.